everyone, this is Laura from Watch Laura Sew, and today we are going to get this ready for quilting. We're going to do a dark gray on the back. I was toying with a light gray so you could really see it, but I think because of the nature of the fabric, you'll be able to see it just fine. So here we go. And <laughs> I use the Magna Glides I, uh, bobbins. I really, they're great to use with the glide thread. Yeah, that looks good. All right, I already have a pretty new needle in there. It's actually very new. So we're gonna go ahead with that one. And I'm gonna go ahead and change the foot out. Always make sure to secure your foot. That's really super duper important. I actually, the other day I took off, I changed out of foot and realized that the foot before it had not been secured. I actually videotaped with a foot wobbling around. Not a good idea. Okay, I have two spools up here. I'm just adding my navy one. I do use two holes on the Juki TL18. Some people use one. Some people use all three. This Chuki went in for repair. And when it came back, I simply have not changed anything. I mean, really have not changed anything. Um, I changed a few things. I've changed the, the height of the foot. And I have not changed the... Uh, tension or anything else it works pretty well so the beauty about doing free motion quilting and if you can quilt in all directions then you can pretty much uh, start any which way you want and it will work what I'm going to do is I'm going to do kind of almost mimicking like almost it's a water lily I'm going to go out like a leaf shape and then each leaf is actually going to be more like a leaf shape. I'm going to do it like I'm bumping a feather, but I'm not sure that's going to work. And so we will we'll find out together. That way it would reduce how much is coming back into this area. So let's go ahead. We're going to try and pick about the center. And this is where when you're free motion quilting, you're kind of like I've drawn it out, but drawing it out and actually executing things are two different things. So now kind of the rubber meets the road, right? Now we find out if the idea is going to work. Do pull my thread through the bottom th thread. I pull through to the top, just like I do on my table runners. Right now I kind of have a lot of the quilt in my lap. And these pins will go away as I finish each area. All right, let's go out here. And I'm gonna come back. So right now it's like a leaf. It's a leaf shape. Now I'm gonna go and I'm going to go out and come back like a leaf shape. And I, you know what? I am not going to, I'm just gonna travel down rather than go back and bump because I think that'd be more traveling. So let's go ahead and do it this way. All right, so I'm gonna try and get one more out here or other thing I could do is I could come and do like a should I do that I'm thinking maybe should I put a swirl out here hmm that might look really cool we're gonna go out here we're gonna swirl it and we'll swirl to the outside what do you think And I'm going to keep it kind of a thin swirl, I think. I'm making this up a little bit. 
so we'll have to take a look at it together. All right, we're gonna go out here and we're going to do the same thing. Now your leaves can make, look different and that's okay because it, you know, here's the reality. Nature, leaves look different. Okay, but what I am gonna do is kind of see how high up I went. Because I want that to be kind of consistent. Boy, doing the dark blue, you're going to see every mistake I make. All right. We're going to swirl it. Not here. And we're going to do a thin swirl. Meaning that I'm going to try and keep it close to the line before it. So this is what I ended up doing. You can see where I traveled down instead of bumping out. And simply because the traveling, if you look at it, the traveling down here was a lot less than going back up and down here and then bumping out. So it actually was less doubling over. And then I did a thin spiral. I, I don't think I'll go a thick one, but I'm going to try and find a way of making that look a little bit better as I do my next one. So I'm pretty happy with it. And then for the borders, I am going to do, I think, a swirl going through, a traveling swirl. But, you know, as I go through this, I may actually change my mind. I'm not sure. I think that will look really pretty. If I do, I come through and do something here, then I don't have to worry about putting anything in this area, which is kind of what I'd like to do because we like our quilts where they are kind of softer and not as stiff when we're using them in our house. And since this has a minky backing, we're going to use it in our house. So I don't want it super stiff, but I want it to have cool design. All right, so that's what we're going to do. We are going to do kind of a leaf rather than a feather, kind of like that. All right, it was artist inspired, right? All right, so I'm going to get busy and you can, um, if you want, hang out. I'll put on some pretty music and you can see how I go through and do this. We're just going to go from one to the next. And when I get to these, I'm going to, um, I'm going to, Think, I think I'm going to do the same thing, only in miniature. So I may have an extra swirl in there or something. This one, I may just do a swirl because it's awfully small. And I think it would give the wrong, I don't know. We'll see what I end up doing, but I think it's probably just going to be a swirl. It was designed by a, a Missouri Star Quilt Company. I love this quilt. I love this pattern. Um, they did a great job. And in fact, the, the way that the uh, blocks work, they do have different directions to them. So I think it'll end up looking great.
here. Do a swirl. Just a simple swirl. And then I'm going to come down and just do another swirl right here. And I think it will really match the fabric and everything else. So totally inspired by the fabric on this particular design. So this is what the block is going to look like. It's going to be swirls in here to kind of mimic. So there's a swirl right there. And even in this one, there's swirls. So we're going to mimic that idea. And then we're also going to kind of bring in the idea of the flower, which is over here, the water lily. And so we're going to make our own little water lilies. There's one. And there's another one. And another one. So, and then I will come back afterwards and put in kind of a meandering swirl. You'll get to see me do it, but I just wanted to show you what the block looked like. Now we're going to turn it over and kind of see what it looks like on the other side. Okay, so this is that block on the other side. So we are going to have a, a meandering swirl going through here that will kind of tie it all together. But you can see the water lilies from the other side and the various, how it looks. Now, if I had my choice again, I would probably not pick the dimpled minky, but it's what I had. So it's what we're going to work with. But I think it's gonna be really, really pretty. And when it gets all done, I think it's gonna be lovely. We will continue working on it. Join me on different stages of the quilt and hopefully we can get it done in the next few days. So sometimes these take a little bit longer and I do need to make some new table wires because I'm actually sold out of some of my key table runners right now. Thank you guys for supporting me and for helping me out and for buying my table runners. That's so amazing of you. I thank you so much. So I do need to get back to doing some table runners. Come back and forth to the quilt so you may see everything move around, lights move around, that kind of thing on the, so I will see you.